the gold standard is going to be urine mycotoxin, mycotoxin testing. And the reason we like this is we can see what is floating around in your body in terms of mycotoxins that shows currently what is there. So we can see, is it a food mold? Is it a water damage mold? What type of mycotoxins do you have sitting in your body and how much? So urine mycotoxin testing to me is the gold standard. I do not like the blood test because again, all they're showing you is, have you ever been exposed? And maybe you have been exposed, but your body's cleared it. So we wanna know what is currently sitting in your body. So then you can come up with a game plan of where did this come from and what do I need to do about it? There's also another kind of roundabout way you can do it, and that's through organic acids testing or the oats test. And there is a fungal uh, section on the organic acids that does pick up a few types of mold, especially aspergillus or penicillium. But I've seen it time and time again where someone will do an oat test and they will um, show no mycotoxin markers. There's three or so of them on that. And then we do a mycotoxin test and they're off the charts. It's just those ones aren't tested for in the oat. So again, not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is going to be doing a mold mycotoxin urine test. And you're going to want one of the companies that is doing the big panels, right? So there is Mosaic that's probably doing one of the smallest right now. They're only testing for 12, where you have something like Vibrant America and Real time labs that are testing for somewhere around 29. So the more that you can test for, the more data you can get. And it's again, just a simple urine sample done at home. And then you send it back and it will tell you exactly what types of mycotoxins are in your body and how much.